yes uh, dear student welcome to the next video that is our practical number 9 chloride content of the water sample okay so today what we are going to determine we are going to determine chloride content which is present in the water okay and you are knowing already uh, we are learn all this in the our theory class water becomes the hard because of the um, carbonates of calcium and magnesium chloride of calcium magnesium sulfates of calcium and magnesium so chloride it is present in the form of calcium chloride and magnesium chloride what you have to determine today you are going to determine the chloride content which is present in the water sample okay and because it is very essential to determine the chloride content when you are going to use it for the industrial purpose as well as for the domestic purpose okay industrial purpose industrial purpose i would like to give you the example of boiler okay in boiler also we are using the water suppose if your water contains the calcium chloride or magnesium chloride at high temperature and pressure what will happen that chloride it reacts with the water okay the at high temperature and pressure because in boiler temperature is also high and pressure is also high so at high temperature and pressure that calcium chloride it reacts with this water and there is a formation of calcium hydroxide caoh twice plus 2 hcl is formed okay hcl it is nothing but the hydrochloric acid and you are knowing in acidic media rate of corrosion is higher okay this hydrochloric acid it is going to cause the boiler corrosion okay and your boiler it will become the weak if it is going to cause the corrosion of that okay so see here how it is going to cause fe when it go going to react with the your hydrochloric acid 2 hcl it is going to form fecl2 okay ferrous chloride is formed and hydrogen gas is evolved so what it show there is a decay and destruction of iron from that boiler material so it is going to become this uh, hcl it is going to make weaker to your boiler material and due to that due to when there is a corrosion of that boiler is occurring it is very dangerous uh, the person which is working surrounding uh, in that or in contact with that boiler okay so for industrial purpose also it is necessary and for domestic purpose also it is necessary okay so we are going to proceed further next uh, what relevant program outcome after completing this video uh, you must able to know the basic knowledge basic knowledge means which salts they are going to create the uh, what to say chloride okay chlorine how it is going to come into the water it is due to the calcium chloride magnesium chloride nacl potassium chloride all they are they are going to produce the chloride uh, produce they are going to produce the chloride in the water okay experiment and practice okay actually in water during domestic purpose for the sterilization of water also for sterilization of water chlorine is added sterilization means what nirjantukikaran okay Uh, so to kill the germs bacteria which is present in the water city water supply we are going to see every time we are going to visit that water treatment plant and last process which is given to that water that is the sterilization where they are going to mix the chlorine okay chlorine gas is bubbled in that water so it is going to kill the germs bacteria this is causing bacteria okay so due to that also chlorine is added there okay and you are knowing if chlorine is excess in the water you can feel it smell bad odor is there to your drinking water also okay experiment and practice okay uh, how you are going to plan or perform the experiment that also how you are going to uh, calculate or how you are going to uh, produce the result and how that result how you are going to use to solve that uh, problem okay so all that you must be able to do engineering tools here we are not going to use any engineering tool but appropriate uh, glassware which is needed for this experiment like your burette conical flask measuring cylinder pipette beaker conical flask that must be you will be able to handle carefully individual and team work okay you must be effectively function in individually as well as in team also 
life long learning okay life long learning uh, every time i'm going to mention this attitude is developed in you when you are having thinking ability in you when you are going to think more on more on that uh, uh, anything that time this skill is developed in you that is the lifelong learning and due to this research ability is developed in you student okay now competencies and practical skills after performing this experiment uh, measurement skill is developed in you okay calculation skill is also developed it is related to our chapter number 5 that is water treatment and analysis so co5 that is course outcome 5 select water treatment process for various application okay so this is the co5 practical outcome practical outcome means after performing this experiment you will be able to uh, determine chloride content in the given water sample okay uh, suppose if you are working in any uh, uh, thermal power plant or in near to us antiplice is there okay there you civil people or mechanical papers are recruited every year so they are going to say you calculate the chloride content in that Cal uh, chloride it is a very dangerous for the boiler okay that it is going to cause your boiler corrosion so you have to determine the chloride content which is present present in that water sample okay effective domain safe practices you have to follow safe practices demonstrate working as a team leader as well as team member also and maintain tools and equipments okay uh, so practical setup we are going to see this is your burette okay this is burette conical flask huh? this is wooden burette stand is there in conical flask we have taken the water sample 25 ml water sample is taken here okay and this is our 0.01 molar silver nitrate that we have taken here silver nitrate agno3 we have taken in the burette okay burette is filled with the silver nitrate solution so let us proceed further for the practical part yes dear student now we are going to see the actual experiment of chloride content of the water sample okay so what are the resources required for this experiment we need this burette okay and this wooden is the burette stand wooden burette stand is there that glass tube it is called the burette okay uh, this is the uh, we need 0.01 molar agno3 silver nitrate solution is needed which is stored in this amber light color bottle okay to prevent the oxidation of that silver okay we need potassium chromate k2cro4 okay it is used as a indicator water sample is needed okay pipette 10 ml pipette is, we are needed for this experiment conical flask okay so these are the various resources which is required for this experiment so let us proceed for the experiment yes uh, rinse this burette with the water okay first you have to do the washing and then you have to rinse it with the silver nitrate okay fill this burette with the silver nitrate solution that is 0.01 molar agno3 solution in this burette and adjust the level to the zero marking okay is yes. yes slowly carefully you have to add that silver nitrate solution in the burette up to the zero mark yes okay it is more than zero now adjust that level to the zero you can see that what uh, yes yes okay now it is adjust to the adjusted to the zero burette is filled with the silver nitrate solution then you have to take 25 ml water sample okay this is the water sample this is the 25 ml pipette show the pipette ma'am this is the 25 ml pipette you have to pipette out 25 ml of water solution which we have taken that is the tap water you have to transfer that water sample into the conical flask 
test you have to adjust that water to that marking yes it is 25 ml transfer it to the conical flask add 2 uh, to 3 drops of that potassium chromate indicator now see your uh, solution turns to the yellow and now what you have to do you have to titrate this solution with the 0.01 molar silver nitrate agno3 solution which is filled in the burette okay now your color is the yellow you can observe the color is the blue sorry uh, yellow you have to titrate till it color changes to brick red okay eat malum hai eat ka color kaisa hota hai like that this color should be the changed okay madam titrate this solution slowly drop wise addition we have to do hmm? continue shaking is necessary okay drop wise addi addition of silver nitrate from the burette till your color changes to brick red ब्रिक मालूम है जिसे ईट बोलते हैं उसका कलर कैसा होता टिल दैट यू हैव टू टाइट्रेट yes yes stop the addition and now observe the color in the beginning it is yellow now it is turned to the brick red okay yes you are reading is it is 7 right ma'am okay exact 7 not it is exact 7 is 7.1 7.1 and where you are going to write this reading you have to write here in the observation table okay our first reading it is the 7.1 okay similarly we have to take the two more reading for that again you have to fill this burette with the uh your silver nitrate solution take 25 ml water solution in the water sample in the conical flask add 2 to 3 drops of potassium chromate indicator your color and titrate with that silver nitrate and your color changes to brick red okay so two more readings next reading is our 7.5 and third reading it is also the 7.5 okay so our z that is the constant burette reading out of these three two which two are constant that we are going to consider every time okay so here 7.5 ml is the z okay yes uh, continue with the uh, calculation part step 1 here our uh, sorry before uh, just now we have seen our readings first reading is our 7.1 ml second it is 7.5 ml and third is 7.5 ml so i'm going to take the constant burette reading 7.5 ml here as so z equal to 7.5 ml got putting the values here okay 35 uh, so now we are going to see the calculation part step 1 this is the standard relation 1000 ml 1 molar 1 liter 1 molar agno3 silver nitrate it is equal to it is equivalent to 35.5 gram of chloride okay your 1000 ml 1 molar silver nitrate it is equivalent to 35.5 gram now you will say from where it is coming 
okay so here atomic weight of chlorine it is the 35.5 gram so when you are going to observe in the periodic table uh, at the place of chlorine its atomic weight uh, atomic number is 17 and atomic weight it is the 35.5 okay now we are going to see the calculation part okay so see here ZML, thousand, this is the standard relation. First one is the standard relation. So, ZML means this much. This much of how much uh, normality of silver nitrate we have taken? We have taken the 0 0.01 molar. M is here. 0 0.01 molar concentration of silver nitrate we have taken. So, it is equal to go on cross multiplying this 35.5 into Z into concentration of that silver nitrate divided by 1000 into 1. So, that is 1000 only. So, when you are going to uh, do the calculation of this, your answer is, it is 0 0.00266 gram of chloride. Okay. So, we have taken, how much water sample we have taken? 25 ml of water sample we have taken. In 25 ml, this much of chloride that is 0 0.00266 gram of chloride is present that it is called the y gram let us proceed for the next step okay so step 2 25 ml water sample means y gram it is how much it is 0 0.00266 gram of chloride is present okay and always remember chloride contain okay it is always expressed in in the ppm part per million or mg per liter okay mg milligram per liter okay now what we have got it is in the 25 ml of the water if i want to calculate how much it is present in 1 liter or 1000 ml okay so for that what i have to do when I am going to multiply this 25 into, sorry, when I am going to multiply this 25 into 40, that time it is the 1000 ml. So, simply what you have to do, you have to multiply this answer by 40. Why ko aapko kya karna hai? 40 se multiply karna hai. That time your answer is 0 0.1064 gram of chloride. Okay, this is now it is in the gram only. Okay, ye 1 liter pani mein itna gram chloride aa jayega. Hume 1 liter chahiye tha, 1 liter mein humne nikal diya. Lekin abhi bhi ye kya hai gram mein hai. Now, if I want to convert this gram into milligram, then what I have to do? I have to multiply it by the 1000. So, ye jo bhi answer aapko mila hai, usse mai jab 1000 se multiply karungi, that time mujhe answer mil jayega. 106.4 okay so this is 1000 ml water sample contains 106.4 gram of the chloride so what is my result the my result is given chloride it contains 106.4 hmm? ppm of chloride or ppm bolenge or mg per liter of the chlorine mg per liter of chloride okay so what you have to do you have to write the interpretation and conclusion from this result okay so interpretation you are going to write same the given water sample contains this much amount of chloride so conclusion how we are going to draw the conclusion yes so Conclusion, our reading, our result is 106.4, okay, 106.4 and you can see here the tolerance limit for the chloride in ppm for different industries, okay, and domestic purpose are as follow, okay, uh, so see here for washing purpose 200 ppm it is okay, for drinking up to 250 ppm chloride it will be the okay okay so tolerance limit means up to this you can use it 
okay for irrigation 100 ppm textile industry okay it also needed 100 ppm steam roller 100 ppm sugar industry 20 ppm okay in sugar industry it should be strictly avoided below 20 ppm it should be present in the uh, water which is still used in sugar industry if chloride is more it is going to uh, cause the decomposition of your sugar okay so our results are above 100 so our water it can be used for drinking and washing it cannot be used for the irrigation textile steam boiler steam roller sorry and sugar okay so this is our conclusion thank you